Well, YouTube, one of the best things you can do with your airplane is go camping, but Avgas is expensive. That's why we've gotten most of our gear on a budget from other sources, like backpackers. <laughs> Plan to do this video along with some actual camping, but that trip was canceled due to weather. Okay guys, I'm back at the hangar. Did a little flying today, but let's go over some of this camping gear. Well, in a Cessna 140 and a lot of old tail draggers, you got about 550 pounds of useful load. This 140 has 12 and a half gallon tanks, two of them. It's 25 gallons. It's 150 pounds if they're full. I'm not gonna tell you what the woman weighs, but call it 320-ish pounds of passengers. We've got about 80 pounds left in the useful load. Well, that's convenient because you know how much you can put in that baggage compartment? 80 pounds. That doesn't leave you a whole lot of room for creature comforts, but we've collected a lot of gear over the years that's helped us be a little more comfortable. First thing you're gonna need is a tent. I got this Nature Hike Cloud Up 3 off Amazon for about $209. Uh, I checked today, there's actually a 10% off coupon. That's in 20 d nylon, which is lighter and tougher. It's gonna last you a little bit longer. They list it as 4.9 pounds. I actually weighed it with the ground mat at five pounds, one ounce. Years ago at Costco, I got a Sierra Designs Queen air mattress. It was actually the most comfortable air mattress I think I've ever owned, but it was lost. I bought another one. Four pounds, 13 ounces without the included pump. It used four D cell batteries, which is just way too heavy. This one will set you back, $59.95. As, as for a sleeping bag, um, this is just a cheap two person sleeping bag I got off Amazon. It's a best sport double size sleeping bag. It's plenty warm considering most of the camping we do is done in the summertime. Also from Costco, uh, years ago I had gotten these Climate Drift camping pillows. They actually use this crushed memory foam. It's extremely comfortable. Rivals my best pillows at home. They're a little bit heavy at two pounds, two ounces each, but I've never slept better in my life while camping. One trick that we use, instead of throwing this in the back and adding the baggage shuttle, we sit on them in flight. These camp chairs are actually new to us. These are the REI Flex Light Air. Um, they're backpacking chairs that weigh right about one pound each. It's incredible how light these things actually are, but I found them to be quite comfortable. Uh, the thing is, being one of the lightest chairs on the market, this will set you back about $99 at REI. Uh, you can often find these on sale about 30% off. Well, if $100 for a one pound chair is a little too rich for your blood, we used to actually camp with these Cascade Mountain Tech chairs. They're a little heavier at about three pounds, seven ounces, but they're high back, they're quite comfortable. And these will only set you back about half the price at $53.95. The first time we went camping in the airplane, uh, we didn't actually have anywhere to put our drinks. That prompted us to buy a folding table. This one is the Trekology soft top roll up camping table. I got this off Amazon. It was a heck of a deal at $26.99. It weighs just one pound, eight ounces and has been invaluable. So a couple of weeks ago, I was looking at the Ice Mule dry bag style coolers when I came across this Wise Owl Burr bag. Well, I spent about $30 on this, but ever since Prime Day, it's been like $16.89 for the 30 liter version. We used to use a soft sided cooler, but this keeps things cold much longer and it's way easier to carry. The 20 liter option is only like 10 bucks. So yeah, if you want an easy, cheap, way more convenient cooler option, uh, I highly recommend this thing. Another recent addition to our kit is this Luminade Packlight Firefly. It's actually super cool. It's got a solar charger on top, which will charge it full every day. Before you leave though, you can always plug in the micro USB port. They do have newer USB-C options, uh, but this, you can actually deflate it. And it packs down really small, or inflate it. And then it's got four different intensity levels and a candlelight version, but it actually weighs quite a bit less than our previous lights and at $26.99, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. One more thing that might help you at Oshkosh is something like this. 
Okay, this is a DB power 250 watt hour power bank. The reason I bought this one was it's got a 350 watt peak output capacity and we have an oil pan heater on this airplane. This one puts out enough power to access my preheater. This is definitely enough to keep your phone charged through the entire week of Oshkosh and charge up your iPad so you can use four flight the whole way home. Normally on Amazon, this thing will set you back about $179.95, but as of today, there's a $50 off coupon. So you can snag this thing for $129.95. That's a steal. If you're not just camping at Oshkosh or another fly-in, but so you're going somewhere a little more remote. This is something that's actually saved me quite a bit of weight. This is a BRS multi-fuel camp stove. So everything you see here weighs in at one pound, six ounces. That's without fuel. The reason I went with the multi-fuel kit is since I normally run MoGas in this airplane, all I need to do is fill up this bottle with fuel from the wings and make my morning coffee. As for water bottles, I've switched to the backpackers trick. Smart water bottles. These things are about as cheap as can be. They're still flexible, but way more durable than your normal water bottle. Um, and they come with water in it. Another trick we use is to freeze a couple water bottles and use those as ice in the cooler. And if you spend about 20 bucks on one of the Sawyer water filters, it actually threads right on the bottle. So you can collect water out of a stream and drink straight through the filter. Oh, and something I almost forgot. I got this Pump Tech lithium ion inflator as a way to air up the air mattress. At 12 ounces, it's much lighter than four D cell batteries and is rechargeable. And this one will actually refill that air mattress three or four times. If you have any tips or tricks about camping out of an airplane, please leave a comment down below. As for making it all fit, it's a tie down kit. It's a couple quarts of oil tucked in in the sides. Tent. Sleeping bag, table, the air mattress, the cooler, the USB power bank, lightweight backpack with the inflator, the stove, the light, a bunch of ancillary stuff like bug spray, and two REI flex light air chairs. So plenty of room for the seat to close, lean all the way back, and of course, the camp pillows. If you'd like to support this channel and need any of this gear, links to everything are down in the description. Okay, to recap, Nature Hike Cloud Up 3 weighing in at five pounds, one ounce. The Sierra Designs air mattress in queen size, four pounds, 13 ounces. We have a two person sleeping bag at five pounds, 15 ounces. We have the Climate Drift camp pillows at two pounds, two ounces. REI Flex Light Air Chairs at one pound. The BRS Camp Stove at one pound, six ounces. We have the Luminade Pack Light Firefly Camp Light at five ounces. The Wise Owl Outfitters Burr Bag at one pound, five ounces. The Sawyer Filter doesn't weigh much at all at about three ounces. Pump Tech Lithium Ion Air Pump at 12 ounces. Trekology Table at one pound, eight ounces. The DB Power 250 Watt Hour Power Bank at four pounds, 15 ounces. If you don't mind carrying a little bit heavier chairs, the Cascade Mountain Tech chairs are three pounds, seven ounces each. That about does it. Let's go see how it all looks set up. Okay, first the tent. We actually had this tent through Oshkosh two years ago. There were torrential downpours, tornadoes touched down nearby. A lot of tents were actually collapsed, but I stayed bone dry. Let's venture inside. As you can see, it fits a queen size air mattress. With a little room to spare, that's enough room for your cooler, your light bag, charging bank, a couple bags for clothes. Not a ton of luxury, but pretty comfortable. So you sleep in this double sleeping bag. Pillows, they're better than home. You can see the Luminade light up there. I'm in this off-white camp. We've got a couple vents. We've got vents on either side. There's plenty of room in the vestibule for your shoes, for a bag, for really anything out here. This is normally what's on the other side of the airplane. Generally we use the wing as an awning for the tent and the other wing for shade for the chairs. Those of you in a low wing airplane, I hope you got a great deal. Some people aren't going to like ultralight camping chairs or backpacking chairs. 
So I tend to sit a little bit lower than your average camp chair. And one thing I do like about them, the REI chairs sit a little more reclined than say the Hilinox Chair Zero or a lot of the other camp chairs. I mean, really we're using them as a place to relax, uh, drink our coffee in the morning, uh, have a drink in the evening, or sit around the campfire. I'm quite happy with these. Some people complain that the, they actually have a little side-to-side -side wobble, but it's not even really noticeable to me. Once I sit down, I'm pretty comfy. The table we didn't have originally, this has been uh, one heck of a luxury. I and mean, by day two, it's generally covered in a pile of stuff. Well, I wanted to show you the alternative. Here's the Cascade Mountain Tech chairs. For those of you who don't know, uh, the Thermocell is awesome at repelling mosquitoes. It takes these little butane cartridges and a little pad. Basically keeps mosquitoes out of about a 10 foot radius. If you plan to camp anywhere remote, I'd suggest getting uh, some sort of satellite communicator. I have a Garmin InReach Mini. I just pay for the months that I'm using it. You know, if we're camping up in Michigan, on one of the islands, it's not always cell reception. I'm allergic to wasps, so that SOS button may come in handy someday. If you'd like to see some airplane camping, check out that video right there. Please subscribe. Go down. Go down.